Hello, everybody. Uh, this is DFS Chan coming to you here to talk about August 9th, uh, League of Legends DFS Slate. Um, it's good to be back. I know I skipped a day yesterday, but, you know, I, you know, these two game slates are typically chalky and um, it's not much like variations or configurations for you to play with. Um, so really like you have to get the long stack and short stack right to be able to cash in most contests. So sometimes it's not even worth playing, you know, if there are two, you know, two chalky favorites on the slate or something like that. So, um, but tonight um, it's going to be a little different because we have two close matchups two top team, top elite teams uh, that will make a, make a run in the playoffs. Um, and then two bottom tier, bottom feeder <laughs> teams in LGD and rare Adam. So yeah, let's talk about those two matchups without any further ado. Uh, before we dive into the match analysis, um, I just want to shout out to true DFS um, come to go check out their channel. Uh, they have sponsored this video for me, so I appreciate them. Um, so yeah, check out their channel on YouTube and on Twitter. Um, if you want, uh, you know, to chat with me directly on Discord on their server, that's where I share all my nuggets and insights. So come check it out. Um, LGD versus Rare Adam is the first matchup I'll analyze. Um, two bottom tier teams. Both teams have been eliminated from the playoffs, so really they're just playing for pride at this point. They're Really, there's nothing to play for uh, um, playoff-wise, so there's not any playoff motivation or incentive there. Uh, but players, you know, they just play for pride, as you guys know, for, for other sports as well, athletes, you know, um, in situations like this. Um, LGD is starting Kui and Hai Chao again in the jungle and mid, uh, mid position. I don't know how I feel about it. Well, I kind of do, um, but I'll tell you about that here in a little bit. And then Rare Adam is starting the regular five, Cube, Leanne, Stripe, Iboy, and Zora. Zora is actually, uh, you know, starting over Yuyanja in the support position. So I just want to note that real quick. But really, I mean, here, I, I really think LGD can pull this off. I mean, both teams are really bad um, in terms of, like, skill level and competition level. Um, both teams have been horrible. Um, actually, um, I have some notes here, but like when I, when I watched their games, like LGD and rare Adam, especially rare Adam, like Leanne was really, really bad in my opinion. Um, in that last series, I think that was the series they played right after they found out that they were eliminated from the playoffs. Um, so I don't know if that mattered to Leanne, but I just feel like at this point, he's the type of a guy He's, I mean, he's experienced, but also at the same time, that means he really has nothing to play for other than just pride. But he's, he, you know, um, I just feel like that's going to continue. Like, I don't think he, you know, really wants to play anymore uh, this split. I know they had an interview with him um, this past week um, about where his status is at uh, with Rare Adam. Um, he didn't really say much during the interview, but yeah. Um, I just feel like that's not a good sign for Leon and for Rare Adam. And also, even though Zora, I feel like he has looked better than Yuyanja at support position and has uh, allowed iBoy to play a little better or actually enabled iBoy to play a little more proactively. Um, I still think that bottom lane is bad. And I, and I really, really do believe that their bottom lane uh, in iBoy and Zora is worse than LGD's bottom lane in Awesome and Jin Zhao. I know Awesome and Jin Zhao had a little rough series in the last game, in the last series, but um, I don't know. I, I really like uh, – maybe Eric G played uh, – started for at AD Carry for LGD, but anyway, so I, I really like Awesome and Jin Zhao. I do think that's the best duo uh, for LGD, and I do believe that they're better than iBoy and Zora. So I'm just going to have to give advantage there in favor of LGD in the bottom lane. And then Strive versus Hai Chao. I mean, I think Strive's a little bit better there. Um, I prefer AG for LGD over Hai Chao, um, but Hai Chao has shown some 
ceilings as well. So I do believe against Drive, who has who has been okay at best. Um, I think that's gonna be a decent matchup for both both players. But I like Strive a little bit better. So favor, you know, advantage goes to Rare Adam. And like I said, uh, Leanne, I think he has lost lost the motivation to play and compete. Um, and then Kui, I mean, I think Kui's really bad, been really bad. But he actually, he has, he's actually looked a little bit better recently. Like playing, I think just having more games under his belt uh, with Hai Chao and with the bottom lane for LGD, I think that has helped him quite a bit. And I do believe that with Leanne lacking the motivation there, um, and the form that he was in in the last series, I think Kui will be okay. There, I mean, there's a good chance that Kui just get dom- gets dominated by Leanne and just gives up a lot of the objectives and map pressure around the map. Um, but I will, I believe that Kui has has gotten a little bit better, has improved, you know, throughout the last couple of weeks, play, having played with a lot of these guys, his teammates, for a while now. So I really like that kind of you know i think that's a wash in that laning phase um in that in that position in jungle position and then fearness versus cube man cube was really really bad i really like fearness i I do think he can be a good serviceable top laner in the lpl um so i do think fearness is better than cube at this moment i mean in the current form both for both both players respectively i i prefer fearness over cube so Fearness, he's good on Fiora. So I, I really like LGD uh, to upset tonight. Um, I'm picking LG to win, LGD to win two to one. Um, like I said, I'm only my only concern is in the jungle position where Kui can be can get dominated um, by the other team's jungler. But I, I really do believe in this bottom lane, Awesome and Jin Zhao. I do believe that they're gonna be the reason why LGD pulls off of an upset over RA tonight. Um, and, and in terms of kill upside, this matchup is not as fast as the other matchup in TES versus V5 that I'm about to talk about. So I would try to get a shorter stack uh, from this um, from this game, ideally. And the second matchup of the day is the marquee matchup of the week. Um, in my opinion, two of my favorite teams to watch, at least that has been the summer split. In top esports versus Victory Five, um, both teams have been really good. I think Victory Five has gone through a lot more turmoil the past couple of weeks, um, just being uh, really good early in the earlier in the split. I think they were undefeated for a while, and then they've lost. Like I think they dropped two games in a row that one week, one bad week for Victory Five. Um, and they've been bouncing back a little bit with Rookie playing out of his mind. Um, but really, I think Rookie has been the only player that's been really consistent. And really, he was the only reason. I think he was the reason why they won that last series, uh, in my opinion. And I think XLB has been okay. I think Votic has actually been pretty bad the last couple uh, couple weeks. I think Votic is, I mean, I think he's okay. Um, I think he benefits more from rookie and XLB, um, for him to look good. Um, and I thought that was the case for Jackie love until he started caring by himself doing Jackie love things. I like that Jackie love has gotten Mark as his support because, you know, Jackie love doing his, you know, stupid, silly, you know, too aggressive plays, Mark actually follows him and, you know, does stuff with him. And sometimes actually that has worked out in their favor. Um, I know as crazy as Jackie Love can get, um, Mark actually has helped Jackie Love to be himself. And his ceiling is so high that when Jackie Love is in form like this, he may, he may, he may be one of the best 80 carries in the world, like over ruler or Viper, you know, whoever you name it. So I really like that. And then Tian has been playing really well lately. Um, so you see where I'm going, right? So, I mean, you know, you know, Knight has, you know, he's a, he's probably he been the most consistent player for top esports, And I think he will do his best job neutralizing rookie in the mid lane. Um, so I do think top esports has an advantage in those other lanes that I just talked about in the bottom lane and jungle. 
And I think Wayward has his form has come up. And as you guys have may have heard from my previous videos, but Rich, the top laner for V5, is not the best individual uh, laning phase person, player. I think Rich is a fantastic team fighting um, player, teammate. But in the individual laning phase, I think Wayward will probably do really well against Rich and he's gonna, you know, have map pressure and game priority in the top lane for top esports. Uh, meaning that I think he's gonna win the lane and that's gonna help Tian and Knight to secure uh map pressure around the Rift Herald, you know, in the on the top side of the map. So I do think that will do fine. And then like I said, Jackie Love and Mark, I think they will win that laning phase against Votic and PP God as well. So I do think top esports will win tonight. Uh, I'm guessing two to zero. I think Victory Five can potentially take a game um, by the hands of Rookie, but you know it is what it is. I think top esports has been a much better team in my opinion, um, and I think they're probably the most trustworthy team in the LPL, at least that has been um, this summer summer split. And in terms of the kill upside, though, like I said, I think it's going to be a more bloody matchup here between top esports and victory five. Um, it's not like in the LCK where two elite teams, when they meet each other, they, you know, try to prevent any mistakes and place, uh, you know, play uh, slower and not as bloody. But in, in the LPL, I mean, I think it's top esports and victory five. They both like to play fast. So, I do think this is going to be a more bloody matchup. And um, Rare Adam and LGD both have been playing a little bit slower um, lately. So in more recent matches. Um, so I do I do think getting a long stack from this matchup would be a, you know, good idea. So and that also means, I mean, it's a two game slate. So feel free to go crazy and just play V5 and LGD as well. I mean, really, like these are two close matchups. Victory 5 definitely, you know, has the roster to pull this off. And same for Rare Adam and LGD. I mean, any of these four teams. So, but my prediction is that Rare Adam is going to lose and LGD is going to pull off an upset. And then I believe the, the, the favorite in the second matchup in top esports will win and beat Victory 5. So... Anyway, so that's all, I, that's all I got for you guys today. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, if you like this video, please hit the like button, please. That would uh, mean a lot to us. Um, and then, yeah, and come check out True DFS, like I said earlier, and come check out my Patreon, where I share my prize picks plays and prop bets and my match predictions and some core plays. Um, you know, if you guys, for those of you who, are, who may be interested, Otherwise, yeah, good luck out there. And tomorrow I'll be back with a four game uh, slate video, uh, which is a little more, a lot more exciting and a lot more uh, fun, in my opinion, building, building lineups. So until then, good luck. Hopefully, you know, we see each other at the top of the leaderboard. Thank you. Bye bye.